Most people in America are looking for how do I make a life worth living and retirement having. When a man is living in homelessness, he has to use his wits and wisdom in order to survive and thrive. Wits help you have humor in everyday life, allow you to laugh at the scenes you see around you and not struggle in strife. Wisdom allows you to figure out how to live in a way that's safe for you and keeps you safe from the predator white men and the predator black women who often try to misuse your, well, skill set, your talents, your creative work, your intellectual property that are gifted from the Lord's house. You see, a liar of Satan will steal property, intellectual property, copywritten property from a human being, regardless of whether they're homeless or not. A little boy who still walks like a little boy into a retail shop to do his job part-time may have another job across town in, say, a hmm, fix-it shop. And maybe he's the one that illegally and immorally and in a gay way put his hands in a man's pockets as he was sleeping in a special space to try to stay out of the marvelous snow and out of the hail and out of the rain on an abandoned property that is owned by the campus. It might be managed by a campus management property group, but those people are bastards of Satan. They wouldn't even shovel off the driveway so that the homeless man who had a walking impediment, basically someone with special needs, could get off the property when it snowed. The white man in his late fifties lied to God again and again that he was some form of agent for his company. I highly doubt he was the president of his company who would have said, oh, by all means, don't shovel our sidewalk in front of that property because I'm responsible for managing it for the campus and by all means allow any student in their 20s to be slip-sliding around on that sidewalk that could create for us a legal liability and a lawsuit for me. But as the manager or the owner of this property management company, the liars of America also sent their men, allegedly their white maintenance men, who really came from a different company called JSM, I think it was, to remove property that I set aside for me to sell. And openly what I think they did was steal it, and they threw much of it away, because you could tell. I found it in neighboring garbage cans that weren't theirs, and openly it was the same man who came and stole all my artwork and all my materials, and almost a thousand dollars worth of invested opportunities for me. At the same time, a Mexican man related to a Mexican food truck came onto that space where I'd sort of given myself a little cubby to place myself at night and literally destroyed the whole area. But wasn't it interesting that it was a bastard of Satan from the staple shop outwitting his American president of the whole national company, calling police on me, interfering with my intellectual property, hacking me all the time, staying in his car in the parking lot way after the close of his job to interfere with my rights on my computer here? Or was it that little 20-year-old girl who works sort of at the fix-it shop and works maybe at Denny's too and openly is trying to put together her idea of what she can do and openly she's always trying to play with me, always trying to say boo-hoo or hello to me as if nanny nanny boo-boo, do you know what I'm doing to you with my friends who are panhandlers and peddlers across the mall shop? What I see is a group of people who are in struggle, who know each other well, which is marvelous, but they don't have the right to attack people because isn't that the same thing that happened on the federal soil of the White House? You see, Black Hawk Down and all these other types of great films taught people about opportunities to try to create harm, but why are they doing that? Because they're upset and they're fed up with the federal government, but here's the deal. The federal government protects us from the places that can make Americans squeal. The liars of America don't understand their insubordination to an American man or an American woman who have earned the right to be president of our nation. I might not have liked Trump, but I have always said, you know, I'd enjoy having dinner with him alone in my own family home or even on my campsite because you know what? He'd be a marvelous person to ask a million questions to, and he'd probably be grandiose enough in his stead that he'd be okay with that. And he'd be okay to tell me about what he's done and where he's been and who he's screwed and why he won, and openly he'd be great at that. 
But at some point, we have to let that fearless leader go back to his family. He's got teenagers. He's got 30-something children. He's got a hell of a lot of them from all his introductions to women that his money offered him. And there was a once a television show about him that kind of did the life in his conglomerate of real estate, but I don't remember watching it in completion. What I know is that he's loved several women, and he's proven that. What I know is he's had sex with a lot of women he's paid for, and I'm not sure about that. What I do know is that pornography is a problem in America, and he did nothing to ruin it or remove it. What I do know is that there are young people and mature people who are using affiliated marketing to market on their own YouTube channels, and anyone who is a part of Hollywood should have something like that, unless, of course, they're tied into some SAG rules and regulations, or unless, of course, they're being represented or misrepresented poorly by certain organizations. Any of the female starlets that had their fame in any part of time with that several movie type of thing that happens for them, like Julia Roberts or Daryl Hannah or Michelle Pfeiffer or any of them have had some plastic surgery. And I'm looking at them going, why would you do that? The Lord created you so beautifully already. Why the fuck would you do that? But hey, they're allowed to do that. But apparently I'm not allowed to adjust my body. I'm not allowed to fix myself. I'm not even allowed to have a religious beard for my God without some shitbag of a fucking black community thinking she or he has the right to put their fucking hands on me when I'm sleeping with a pair of shears, a pair of scissors, or even a razor zipping my hair off, shaving my head, tying my beard in a knot, as if they have something to say about my life, my faith, my family life, my future wife, anything I want from me. These are the liars of America.